Greetings YouTube, it's DJ Eagle coming at you today from the Honest Review and today I want to talk a little bit about Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know my uh, review is a little late, but it has been a little bit busy. We've had uh, Star Wars, nine days of Star Wars. Uh, we're still going, today's day seven, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, as with the Star Wars, Star Wars, I got Star Wars on the brain. Sorry guys. <laughs> Uh, if you really want to have a laugh, you should see my video at the end of this. It was my actual uh, review on Final Fantasy Remake, but uh, for some reason I had time lapse set and it didn't go according to plan. Dang. Okay, somebody needs my attention for some reason. So uh, yeah, that'll be at the end. It's like it was like six minutes long and it ended up being like twelve seconds. So yeah, it's worth a watch at the end. It's kind of interesting to see just to see what time lapse does. <sighs> Hopefully this isn't time lapse because I'm not doing it again. But anyway, back to Final Fantasy VII. I'm not going to try and do any spoilers because uh, I don't think the game warrants spoilers. I, I love the game that much. It stayed real, uh, real good to the original. Like it was real close. Uh, there was a little couple of changes to the story, um, but I think they did really well with it. And the other aspect as well is um, Barrett's voice. I really did not like during the demo. I still don't like it but it grew on me throughout the game like every cutscene it started to grow on me and yeah it, it suits the part it's it's not the ideal voice for the character but yeah um they didn't fix the uh, graphical glitches that i had mentioned back in the uh, the, the one hour demo um that's also on my channel uh there's a cut the face glitches during a cutscene and uh, some graphical slowdowns um I'm running the uh, PS4 Pro on a 4K TV and uh, it was struggling through that. Even my PS4 Pro, she was making a lot of noise and she's cleaned out regularly. And she's even got Arctic Silver on there to keep it cold. But alas, it still runs pretty warm. But overall, game is done pretty well. It still has that hack and slash aspect feel to it um, if you stay in that mode, which is what I do because it's what the game was originally intended to be for on the remake, not the original. Um, passive it's more of a passive turn base and i really like that it's it feels good the game it makes it feel whole so to speak i always found it was a little bit lacking with the turn base back in uh, the original final fantasy 7 um i do play it regularly i play it every week there's another week that goes by that i haven't played it at least once i do love final fantasy 7 remake I, I i hope they continue doing it square enix good job keep up the good work and uh I, I hope number two just follows suit as number one. I mean, I didn't do everything in it. I only did story. I did a couple of side quests. Uh, but the whole game from beginning to finish, it took me 40 hours and I was kind of just dawdling. Um, I wasn't using any of the uh, tricks or the tips that were given to you. I, I'm a barbarian. I just go through and hack and slash and do what I want, basically. I don't follow tips and what's not. Ooh, this works better against that. Nah, heat it up a little bit and then go town hack and slash. <laughs> Uh, but all in all, yeah, is it worth your money? Honest opinion, yes. Yes, it's, it's a game, in my, my honest opinion, uh, I'm a frugalist by heart. I, I buy them cheap, I do buy games new for reviews and stuff, obviously. It takes me a little while, I mean, it's not exactly the greatest. Um, but that's on a different video. Uh, but yeah, uh, should you spend the money on it? Yes. Do I like the fact that you have to buy each game as a separate individual? No, no, I, I don't like that. I, I remember back in PlayStation 1, I bought the game. It was uh, 69.99 back home uh, from England. Uh, bought it. I had all four discs. Four discs for that price. And yeah, it was, you know, it was kept you occupied. There was lots to do. Long time. 40 hours for 80 bucks. The price point is a little wary for me, but it's enjoyable. It's worth it. I don't want to have to pay that kind of price for each one of them now because that turns out a $70 game into, you know, times four or three if they can stretch it into three discs, Prefer preferably four because it does warrant the four. Um, but yeah, uh, that that's my big grief right now is forking that much money out for each disc for it. But apart from that, it is worth it. They've done a real good job on it, the cutscene to it tremendously well done it it's got the feels of, of the original everything about it is it, it's 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 spot on 
so yeah that that's where we're at with that i think it's really well done and yeah this is the honest review of saying buy final fantasy 7 remake um yeah if you like this video hit the old like and subscribe and there'll be a lot more coming up soon catch you later